Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow circle uh, with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And this uh, circle is placed in such a way that uh, these points E and uh, D are the points of tangency. Furthermore, uh, this uh, length uh, A, B is uh, 27 uh, units and this uh, length uh, A, C is uh, 6 units. And now our task is to calculate the radius of this uh, yellow circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. I have connected this center O with the, this uh, point uh, D. And now we can see this, this O D is the radius uh, of this yellow circle. Let me go ahead and represent this uh, radius as uh, lowercase r and I have connected this uh, center O with this uh, point E as well such that uh, this O E is our uh, radius r as well. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be exactly 90 degrees as you can see in this uh, diagram and in our case uh, these are our radii and these are our tangent lines so no wonder these angles have got to be 90 degrees each and now we can see that this uh, e b d o is a rectangle so therefore uh, this side length uh, has got to be equal to this side length uh, e b if this uh, side length is uh, lowercase r then this side length has got to be lowercase r as well and now let's make an observation. We know that this whole side length is 27 units and this side length EB is lowercase r. Then this side length AE is going to be 27 minus lowercase r. So thus our this length AE turns out to be 27 minus r. And here's our next step. I have drawn this uh, perpendicular from this point uh, C onto this uh, radius uh, OE at this uh, point uh, F. And now we can see that AEFC uh, is the rectangle. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, has got to be equal to this side length uh, EF. If this side length is uh, 6, then this EF side length is going to be six units as well and now let's make an observation we know that this whole length uh, oe is the radius uh, r this side length uh, is uh, six then this side length uh, of has got to be r minus uh, six and now since we are dealing once again this is our rectangle uh, aefc so this side length has got to be equal to this side length uh, FC. If this side length is 27 minus R, then this side length has got to be 27 minus R as well. And in this next step, I have connected uh, this point uh, C with this uh, center O, such that we got this uh, right triangle uh, CFO. And now we can see that this uh, CO is the radius uh, R as well of this uh, yellow circle. And now let's focus on this, uh, our right triangle CFO. And I have copied it down over here such that uh, these are the side lengths uh, of this uh, right triangle. And now our task is to solve for this uh, radius uh, R. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem for that one. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side uh, C. I'm going to call uh, this side A and this side B. So let's go ahead and fill in the blank in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is uh, 27 minus R is going to become a whole uh, square plus B is uh, R minus uh, 6 uh, whole uh, square equal to R uh, square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity A minus B whole square could be written as A square minus 2ab plus b square. I'm going to apply it on these uh, two binomials. So therefore, we are going to have 729 minus 
for r plus uh, r square for this next one is going to be r square minus uh, 12 r plus uh, 36 uh, equal to r square and now we can see this r square and this r square cancel each other out and now let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side so that's going to give us uh, r square minus uh, 66 uh, r plus uh, 765 uh, equal to zero and now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve for this radius r by grouping and factoring. So let's focus on this number 765. And here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and find the factors of this thing. So this 765 could be broken down to 5 times 153. And now 153 could be broken down to 3 times 51. And now we can write down 5 times 3 is going to give us 15. And then times 51. And now we can see if we multiply these two numbers, we are going to get this 765. And we if we add these numbers, we are going to get uh, 66. So therefore, let me go ahead and tweak this middle number negative 66 R could be written as negative 15 R minus 51 R. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have uh, replaced this uh, negative 66 R by this uh, quantity. And now we can see between first these two terms, R is in common and this uh, last two terms negative 51 is in common so therefore i can factor out r so we ended up with r minus 15 and here i'm going to factor out negative 51 so we got r minus 15 equals to zero and now we can see r minus 15 and r minus 15 they are in common so therefore i can write r minus 15 times r minus uh, 51 equals to zero and now let's separate these two factors i can uh, write them separately r minus 15 equal to zero and the other one is r minus uh, 51 equal to zero as well so the first equation is going to give us r equal to positive uh, 15 and this uh, next equation is going to give us uh, r equal to positive 51 and now if we pick this uh, r equal to 51 value and put it over here 27 minus 51 is going to give us uh, a negative uh, number and we know that the length uh, cannot be negative so therefore r equals to 51 value has been rejected and we are going to accept uh, r equals to 15 uh, value so thus the radius of this uh, yellow circle turns out to be 15 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.